Welcome everybody to a new month and a new News Channel 3, your environment video blog for the week of Sunday, March 3rd, 2019. And if you haven't, again, any information about upcoming environmental, recycling, cleanup events, anything like that, we would love to know about it. Drop a note to me at my email address at austin.onic at wreg. Dot com. Coming up in just a little bit on this edition, we'll take a look at air quality around the Mid-South. A little bit less nice out there thanks to the front that just moved through, probably stirring up a little bit of atmospheric pollution, dust and whatnot out there as our latest cold wave came on through the area. Weather toward the end of the week looks better and hopefully the clear skies remain. And we'll also take a look at how much time is left until Earth Hour, less than a month to go, and to help you understand a little bit more about what we're going to be looking for when it comes to Earth Hour this year, helping you to turn off the power to learn about how much power you use and what we can do to actually conserve energy. So some opportunities there. Plus, coming up, the Youth Climate March is about a week and a half away. A lot of people are saying that it's just a bunch of kids skipping school, playing hooky, not really amounting to much, but the kids themselves have a lot different things to say about it, and we'll take a look at both sides of that coming up here in just a little bit, so stick around for more on that. Coming up again into the course of the rest of the netcast, we'll give you more details as to, again, what you can be doing to help out on things into and around the area when it comes to local environmental groups and efforts, and also about how you can work together with some of those groups to contact your legislators legislatures to make certain that again we get the point across that they work for us as voters and that we can make certain that they know that we want them to help keep the environment clean and if you'd like to know more about that some help coming up in just a little bit so stay tuned for more on that air quality in the mid-south again not that much of a problem for right now although we are seeing again a little bit of a concern out there with air quality back up to around 61. That's the yellow category. That's not exactly terrible, but it's not exactly clean either. But in the next couple of days, looks like we will be looking for some cleaner conditions out there as the air quality index goes back to the green or good level. We're not seeing any major problems in our future either, so some very good news on that for right now. You might follow places like the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists and their doomsday clock, and again, one of the things they take a look at is things like nuclear weapons and terrorism, but they also take a look at things like climate change and the fact that we have one planet and we need to take care of it and we all need to do a much better job of that. But right now, again, one of the things they look at is just, again, livability on the planet and what we are doing to the planet, not helping out things. But something to take a look at, again, is their doomsday clock and the efforts that they put forward into watching what goes on out there. And if you'd like to know more about some of the environmental efforts and what goes on when it comes to things like climate change, they've got a whole whole bunch of issues out there, including nuclear waste, climate and pollution, corruption, and behind the scenes efforts to clean things up. And again, ocean level rise, a very big thing regarding what's going on as the climate changes things that you can do as a citizen to make things a little bit better, and that's at thebulletin.org. But there's other things going on out there with, again, students and younger people, not only in the United States, but around the world, getting involved to take a look and to get people to pay attention to what's going on. And attitudes about climate change in general are changing around the world, thanks in part to increased awareness that a lot of what the predicted effects of climate change were going to be, like sea level rise and oceans warming up and causing the glaciers to melt, rising the oceans as the oceans absorb all that extra heat from the carbon dioxide, from the pollution that we pump into the atmosphere and we keep more heat in thanks to the greenhouse effect, those effects are taking place right now. So a lot of people around the world are starting to notice this and definitely starting to pay attention and making certain that their lawmakers are paying attention as well. Climate movements are all over the place. This information from the Natural Resources Defense Council at nrdc.org. And there are plenty of other places around that have tons of information and different websites out there about participation, what you can do to get involved, 
different age groups, different locations, different communities all around the planet to give more information about what's going on out there. You can find it on social media very, very easily. There's been some just within about the last year or so to where they've been gaining a lot of momentum in not only parts of the United States, but also in Europe, Africa, Asia, and into the rest of the planet. And it's fascinating to see what goes on out there, some of which, again, at this point in time, some of the critics of a lot of these uh, climate marches are saying, especially from the kids' point of view, that, well, it's just another day off, that the kids are going out to just have a day and it doesn't really matter to them what's going on. Well, there's going to be some of that in every crowd. There's no question about that. But there are students out there that are doing their best to get the information out about what's going on. One of those is Greta Thunberg, who is a 16-year-old climate activist and doing her best to make certain that the word is out that kids do not want to stand for this because we have the kids that have to grow up in the world that were created by the adults, by their parents, their grandparents, and it's time to start acting as if we have someplace else to go to. Very vocal and also, again, out there on numerous social media websites. I was able to see, again, a lot more going on out there, including being interviewed on CBS News and their websites as well. And again, keeping an eye on what's going on from around the area. They have a very neat attitude out there that they're going to change the world, they're going to bring more attention to what's going on with climate change into and around the entire world, including a really neat interview and segment on 60 Minutes tonight, which you can catch on the overtime segment on their website about the climate change going on and some of the lawsuits that are in process to try to stop polluters and bring more attention to what's going on in the government out there of not only the United States but around the world as well. So a lot of attention being paid to this. And again, the climate strike with the kids, the big one is coming up, I believe, on March 15th, and a lot of that going on. But again, a lot of questions as to whether or not it'll have any impact. This particular website from the BBC and a lot of others around the world taking a look at what may happen and what may not. So if you'd like to know more about it, there are tons of websites out there available to find out more about the different climate marches coming up and also one from adults, again, for the People's Climate Movement, looking again at what can be done by staying at home and writing your legislators or taking a more direct approach out there. Also on Facebook at facebook.com slash people's climate. If you'd like to know a little bit more about that, just on social media out there. Other groups you can join like Extinction Symbol, taking a look at the various life forms around the planet that are disappearing and the notice that they are drawing to those animals that are going extinct and what you can do by raising awareness just by posting a symbol online to talk about more about what goes on and again numerous other places that you can go to and movements you can get involved in and things that you can do at various locations at home as well. Natural Resources Defense Council has several places you can go to to contact your lawmakers very easily. The Climate Leadership Conference is coming up and again that should be interesting to see what gets done around the world and of course the United Nations Framework Council for Climate Change, information about the Paris climate agreements and what is going on around the rest of the world. So there's all kinds of neat things that can be brought to light. And also the Chickasaw group from in and around the Mid-South area, tons of information, including an upcoming event to train you how to contact your local legislators to talk about climate change, pollution, ecology, all kinds of things like that. So great information available on a local level as well. Wolf River the Conservancy is having a lot of great effect uh, on the local climate and also, again, keeping things clean, including the Full Moon Bonfire and World Water Day is coming up on Friday, March 22nd. So all kinds of great things to be seen out there at wolfriver.org if you'd like to find out more about what's going on uh, in those locations as well. Good news, again, for the Mid-South area, again, for everybody on the planet, that all the clicks on the green button at the rainforestsite.com have saved 70 million square feet or over 1,600 acres of rainforest. More information, again, at the, at the rainforestsite.com. All you have to do is click on that big green button to save rainforest space, view some ads, and the sponsors will pay to put rainforest space aside so it doesn't get developed for farmland, and that'll protect the lungs of our planet as well. Coming up in a little less than a month, 
It's going to be Earth Hour. More information about how you can better use your power by turning off the lights and the energy that you think you need but don't, and that could help your utility bill and the planet as well. So something to consider there as well on that. Wrapping it up for this week, thanks for joining us again for our Echo blog, Your Environment. Again, more information, drop me a line if you've got stuff going on out there at austin.onic at wreg.com. And we'll be back with another edition of Your Environment coming up next week. Thanks for joining us.